Okay, hi and welcome to the sneak peek into Practically Document Opencast. My name is Felix and I occasionally contribute to the Opencast admin documentation. You won't have to take notes because this talk is being recorded. However, I'm not a native speaker of English, so please ask your question in simple words if you have one. The next 10 minutes talking will be about how you can find matching documentation for your Opencast versions, basics of Markdown, how to update a single page of the Opencast documentation MKDocs, the documentation software which transforms Markdown into the beautiful Opencast documentation, and finally about scope and language and examples. Well, the last point was already covered, so I will probably strike it from the list. Let's first open existing documentation. For this to work, open your web browser and fill docs.opencast.org in your address bar. Whoops, I'm switching to here. Okay. Um, as a page appears, you'll notice there's an adopter's guide and the developer guide. While both guides can be read and modified analogously, we'll focus on the adopter's or administrator's guide today. Let's assume we need to know how Opencast version 9 can be installed. We select 9.x from the dropdown and are redirected to Opencast 9's admin documentation. As you can see, there is a table of contents on the left and a search in the right top corner. Lucky for us, we already spotted the installation section. And because we like um, whales and containers, we select installation with Docker. Great. So as we read through the documentation, we realize uh, that not everyone knows what PyCA is, and we'd like to improve that documentation at this point. Whoops, I have to switch some slides. Sorry about this. I missed that. And open up docs.opencast exactly. Okay. From now on, we'll need a GitHub account. An account at GitHub is free and you can sign up at github.com. If you have never worked with GitHub or similar Git hosting service like GitLab or Bitbucket, have a look at this video in the chat later. After logging into your account, scroll to the bottom of the documentation page you'd like to improve and press edit on GitHub. First, uh, we have to fork the repository if you haven't already. This makes a copy of the repository in, in your uh, user space at GitHub. A page editor opens. Unfortunately, you notice its a target is a develop branch, but you wanted to improve the 9.x documentation. So you are going to replace develop as 9.x r 9.x. And now we have opened the correct documentation here to edit. Um, yes. So the editor shows us a path to the file you're editing. It's in docs guides admin docs installation, where you're editing a file called docker-local.md. The MD stands for Markdown. Markdown had been created easy to read in its source form and being easy to write. As you can see, comparing the editor content with its preview, <laughs> one hash means uh, it's a heading, a first level heading, two hash symbols means a second level heading, and so on. Links can be created using square brackets containing the link text and parentheses containing the target URL. Try to avoid unnecessary styling. Markdown used in the docs also supports a subset of HTML, but try to avoid that as well, because it will usually make the source code harder to read. A reference for Markdown can be found on this page in the chat. But note uh, that uh, there are a few subtle differences, and the differences are described in the next link in the chat. 
Now let's add our link to the PyCA occurrence in order not to destroy the table formatting and the um, in the markdown source. First, let's add some space characters to all the lines of one column. GitHub's embedded editor code mirror supports multi-line editing. Yay! Pressing Alt and dragging the cursor down, I get a multi-line cursor and can insert an equal amount of spaces to all rows at the same time. So I'm scrolling to the um, to the table, and in order not to destroy it, I enable multi-line editing. Whoops. This should work. In theory, yes, it works. Now I have multiple cursors, as you can maybe see or not, but if I hit space, you can see it. And now I'm just adding the link to the PyCA documentation. Perhaps I have to magnify it a little. Okay. Can you see um, the documentation and what I'm editing here? Uh, okay. And we still are lacking the link text. And um, this should become the PyCA actually. So now we have a link to the PyCA documentation. Um, and let's add an equal amount of spaces here as well. Oh, no. Oops. So let's have a, pre a look at the preview. In the preview, you, we see the table cell we just edited and the link, and the link works. Now we are ready to propose our changes. Um, as OpenCast documentation is part of the OpenCast source code repository, each change needs a line describing the changes called commit message. Make sure to mention that you are editing the adopter's documentation in your commit message. Your selected email address will become part of the commit and everyone on the world will be able to see this address. So if you'd like to use a different one, make sure to add a trash or project specific address in your email at your email provider and add a verify it on GitHub in your personal settings. We are now ready to propose the changes and create the pull request from it. It's called pull request because we have changed uh, our local fork or our fork um, and we request that change to be played back to the main repository. Make sure to watch your primary email address uh, in case you suggest documentation changes because uh, occasionally there will be uh, requests for change from other committers or um, uh, CI messages if some build fails or you have uh, invalid syntax. So, I'm, 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 I'm what I'm doing here, I'm um, documentation, adopters, documentation, and link I C A M adopters documentation, and installation and we already get a message that we are that our commit message is too long um, so let's just we pick this and if you wouldn't wanted to write more details we could put it here now when we press propose changes um, a new branch is created in our repository and we can uh, create the pull request already uh, we already created the commit and now we can initiate the pull request. There are some um, prerequisites you should um, meet if you are pull, uh, creating a pull request that's written here. And if you wanted, you really wanted to create the pull request, you could now press that create pull request button. Yeah, that's for the Git 
Web interface, oh, I could also allow you to download the presentation for later. Let me just do this. Manage presentation and I can allow you to download this one. Confirm. So now you can download the presentation because I occasionally forgot to change the slides here. Um, while a GitHub, web's GitHub web interface is great for editing a single document, editing multiple documents would require multiple commits. Uh, that's why we are going to fork and clone the main repository, edit locally, push the changes back to our fork and create a pull request. Here's how. First, you have to uh, install Git and tell Git who you are. There are multiple Git packages around. Because I'm on Linux, I can simply stick to the default package manager for the installation. Otherwise, I have to, would have to download one. Right after installation, Git can be configured globally. If you installed Git, the Git command line client, uh, there are two lines you should run now. And I'm just doing that here. It's git config minus minus user.name and user.email and now git, your local git clients knows who you are. So now we can just um, go into the editing this. First, we would have to clone the repository. I've already cloned this. And I think I can just go into it. Otherwise, I would do a git clone and the URL. If you wonder where the URL comes from, you can go to the GitHub repository, uh, which you would like to clone. Press that download link on code and copy that into your clipboard, that URL. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have cloned our repository and now we are, we want to edit the according document. So it's inside what we have cloned, then docs, guides, and admin. Oops. Okay, we are already in opencast demo. Let's switch to docs, guides, admin. And we can edit uh, the document we want, but before we do, we should really create a new branch. And we can just do it this way. And now we can just edit our documentation. I use Atom and this one. Whoops, Atom takes some time to start. And we could edit our file here. I've already edited for demonstration purposes. And if you run git status, we would see that it's changed and can run git add box installation docker local and git commit um, with the commit message. Oops. It still doesn't know who I am. Hi. Oops. Git config global user email. Is it not? Oh, it's empty. So something didn't work when I configured Git before. Um, okay, we have our commit. And now we can um, push, uh, uh, no, we have to add the remote first. Um, I said we have cloned the repository and uh, in order to not everyone being able to um, to push to the main repository, that would be very bad. You can push to a cloned repository to your own copy. And for this, you have to add the remote git, remote, and, oh yes, um, and the remote is called fork, and that way. Okay. Now we could run git push and have it available on GitHub. Oops, photo my fork doesn't, oh, okay, I, I didn't uh, call it 
Fork. I set my fork. And now I would have to enter my GitHub credentials. And if pushed, I would have the branch available on GitHub. And the final step would be to create a pull request. And you would get a pull request button, button here. Uh, or uh, even on the command line, it would print you uh, the possibility to create that pull request. Okay, since I think uh, the time is already almost over, you um, we can't really do the part about um, the MKDocs installation, but it's also very easy. Just follow the steps here given in the slides and you will have um, a working uh, live server of that MKDocs. I can just do it uh, programmatically here. Um, Okay, okay, okay. Yes, thank, thank you, Felix, okay. for the talk. Yeah. And you. also providing the slides for download. That's great. Um, uh, there is, I think, a trick question, if you could answer it very quickly in the shared notes, which is, if you edit 9.x, do you also need to edit develop? I think that's uh, the task of a committer to um, create, uh, to, to merge this into the develop branch. But a committer would uh, be able to answer this question more precisely.